What's up YouTube? Today we are going to go through the unsung hero of the back half of Lady Melody, Aim to Please. Uh, definitely a bizarro song that employs lots of guitar playing that is fundamentally unsound and likely very terrible, but it works in the context of the song because uh, I have the good fortune of playing over a ridiculously good uh, rhythm section and my boy Art can sort of sing to anything. So, a little bit of uh, history on the song. This was definitely one of the last songs we wrote for Lady Melody. Art did not have vocals going into recording the album, which really, really, really made the rest of us uneasy and upset us quite a bit. I remember Husto in particular being very pissed that Art didn't have lyrics yet. Um... I don't know that we ever heard the song sung all the way through, in fact, prior to us tracking it and uh, putting down the version that you know and love today. And Art sang that song in a single take. It's the only song on Lady Melody that he was able to uh, pull that off on, and that was really out of necessity because... Um, I don't know that he could sing that song twice without his voice just completely uh, going kaput. He was losing his voice every day, and I think that was the last song he sang for the record because after that he was just fried. So, anyway, the song begins, um, and bear with me, I haven't played this one since Fest. It is currently September the 25th. We did Fest last October, so do the math, it's like 11 months. But it starts... <laughs> Yeah, so 5th uh, fret, 2nd string, 3rd fret, 3rd string, and 7th uh, fret on the 5th, or on the 4th rather. Then we're going to move up to 8, 7, 9, so 2nd, 3rd, and 4th string, with just a little half step up on the 4th string. Then we're going to go 2nd, 3rd, 4th strings, 10, 10, and 11. Then uh, 10, 9, and 7. So yeah, you're going to go... Starting uh, 10, 10, 9, and then we're just going to move it down a full step to 8, 8, 7. And if I recall correctly, when we were writing this song, I almost started playing that progression to be comically like, hey, we should write a super heavy song. Like, wouldn't it be funny if we had a song where it just went... And uh, never to be one to shy away from a challenge, Art then wrote a song around it because, you know, he's Art. He's super talented. But uh, I shut up during the, voice, the verses. So, yeah, I come in on the fourth string, seventh fret, and it's down picking, like sort of a little finger pick. And then it just does what it does during the intro. So then you palm mute uh, second, third, and fourth strings. We're going to go seven, seven, six. And then I go silent during the, I'll uh, stay away, la la la, la 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 la. Come back in on. So that's a fifth string bend at the 20th fret while holding the uh, 17th fret on the sixth string. Then we come back in on. And the second verse mirrors the first verse. Chorus. This is going to get super weird. We start 4th string, 7th fret, 5th string, ninth fret. 
Always reminding me of Alkaline Trio, I don't know why, but uh, nine, eight, half steps down. So we're gonna hold uh, our position on the fifth string. We're gonna go to nine and 10 on the fourth string, move down to the ninth fret on the fifth string. So then we're gonna hold that ninth, str uh, ninth fret on the fifth string, move up to the 12th on the fourth. And then we're gonna move up a half step. So then it's 12, starting on the fourth, 12, 13, 10. Then it's uh, 15, 13, 13, four, five, six. Gets a little weird from there. I kinda, sorry, I gotta keep playing it through. So yeah, after you go to, so you're gonna go uh, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17th fret on four. To the 15th on five. 19th on four to the uh, 17th on five. Then up to the, God, I can't even count that high. Whatever the last fret is on um, the fourth string. So we'll go 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Hope that makes sense, so. And there's the bass interlude part where Art does what um, has always, that breakdown in the song always sounded like an AFI song to me, like Black Cells, uh, what was the really good one that has Total Immortal on it? Not the EP though. Days of the Phoenix, whatever that record is. Uh, Art of Drowning, such a damn good record. Definitely the best AFI record. I don't care what anyone says. It's not Black Cells. It's not Sing the Sorrow. It is 100% uh, Art of Drowning. Uh, but that's basically the song. And then the outro is uh, the beginning of the chorus. And then we decided to put uh, Get What You Deserve Incorporated after it, which is just super weird. Um, but I think part of what gives Lady Melody the ch its charm, right, is you have the song Lady Melody, which is like a super long, weird ballad. Aim to Please, Get What You Deserve, Inc. Um, yeah, it's a little weird. But anyway, let's get to the playthrough.
heart. There you have it. Sorry for the hiccup. Uh, yeah, got some shows coming up. We will be playing with Piebald and Hot Rod Circuit. Super excited for those in the Los Angeles area. So check out our socials and come on out to those shows because we'll probably break up again any day now. Cheers. <laughs>